after Shit. you. Hey, this here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? This no! Stop Whoa, right where you are. Easy. You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away, you nosy idiot. Hey, jackass! You need to leave. Time to Good plan, fellas. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? What happened to you two? Cowering like dogs. You wouldn't give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. Look at what we snagged! There Don't we go. Buddy. I told you he'd show. <laughs> All right. I need to try harder than that. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. We're back home now. Oh, oh everything's going to be classic Sean okay. McGuire speech. Uncle Sean is back. Yes, he's definitely and don't back. Don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw. We need to really celebrate. I'll keep them girls in line. If Are I have to rip them, I will. You see, you, you try. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. Oh, what now? Come on. You know, when I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a cook, or well, I'm going to go out and I'm going to find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest horn in San Francisco. You know, she says you're getting pretty mad, but diddle, 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her ass. Mark, well, what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, 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 all the day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. <laughs> Me and you. Never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we was gonna see you again. Uh, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? That makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Look at me. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Okay, okay. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Oh. <laughs> hmm. See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad.
sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> well, well, well. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? With a light, light heart, I roll along. Hello! Hello. And the clouds. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. All right, skin and butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Shh, girl, won't take long. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Girl, where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Been dead a couple of days, at least. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Anything, Arthur? Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Yep. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. 
Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill All him. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? Help a blind man. Here. Be warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Howdy, fellas. Mister? Oh, Joe, Having fun, right? mister? Oh. What'll it be, then? Whiskey, please. Hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yeah, this that's right. Make your trouble go away. More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. <laughs> you looking for a repeat? Sure seems that way. Hey, hey Wallace, this here's the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from hey, the Almighty. What can I do for you? Fitter outside yeah. told me I could oh grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> 